The great thing about regional contests in Southern California is that you never know who's going to show up. National champions from other countries and great competitors from other regions of the United States are not uncommon and can dramatically boost an event's quality. This was certainly the case with the recent Amateur Grand Prix in Venice Beach, California. Arcinto Arce may be an 89-year-old who trains despite having a pacemaker, but Southern California bodybuilding fans still see him at just about every contest. Way to go, Arcinto! With gifted shape and symmetry, it's only natural that teenage winner Scott Rich looks up to such symmetrical bodybuilders as Dennis Newman and Lee Labrada. With a mother that's a high school principal, you can bet that his education comes before bodybuilding. He definitely puts education first, which is also um, my pri the priority in my life. But, you know, bodybuilding is also my hobby, and I love bodybuilding, so I'm going to continue as long as I can, and hopefully I can succeed in both. Emzer gave up baseball for bodybuilding when he saw what the weights did to his body's appearance. Raised in a close-knit Italian family, it makes sense that Mike's first inspiration was pro Rich Gaspari. Well, when I was 19, I, I picked up a Flex magazine and I opened it up and there was a uh, there was a shot of Rich Gaspari's abs and I said, absolutely perfect. And I read further on and, and he was Italian, he's from New York and so on and so forth and that's like me. So I just figured, I'm this guy, man. I just got to go after it and, and do it, you know. And also featured a physically challenged class. Runner-up was Gary Carroll, a personal trainer with cerebral palsy who left drug abuse behind when he won a free gym membership and got hooked on health. Winning the class was Glenn Bobro, who has also won this class at the Natural California and USA Championship. He actually started training to cope with the pain of over 40 operations on his back. Heavyweight winner Leanna Ross was inspired to start lifting by the physique of six-time Ms. Olympia Corey Everson. And now her goal is nothing less than to turn pro and stand on that same Olympia stage. Diana Hudson keeps busy with two teenage daughters and a job as a professional photographer. The former swimmer and aerobic instructor won the overall title here, adding to her list which includes the Contra Costa and Santa Clara Muscle Classic. San Francisco's Alex Lopez was a top-ranked martial artist who nearly dabbled in weight training for fun. Working as a comic book illustrator, he took up the dare when his friends suggested he try his hand at bodybuilding competition. Yeah, I was working out at this gym down in Daly City, and then uh, one of the trainers there asked me if I ever competed, and I said, no, never in my life. And he said, why don't you just try it for Allen? And I said, yeah, I'll do it. And I'll... Um, but after that, I uh, competed in the first show in San Jose Super Bowl, and I dieted, and, and I didn't expect anything out of it. All I wanted to do is to do the best I could, and I came in first in my first show. Runner-up in the middleweights was Dwayne Lamar, who had the best shape and symmetry in the class, but needed to be harder. Interestingly, he had won this class at this very contest three years ago. Romeo Villarino came from Seattle and had the crowd screaming with his dense muscularity and Tarzan-like long hair. The Zeke photographers all rushed to arrange shoots with this exotic-looking Filipino. Like Roger Stewart and Mike O'Hearn, Romeo has Muscle Magazine cover written all over him. He isn't just a handsome model type, he also has the physical potential to earn his pro card eventually. Runner-up in the heavyweights was former Mr. Israel, Ofer Samra. With great shape and symmetry, he could probably do better in bodybuilding if he only focused on training rather than acting. But do you really think he regrets appearing in Arnold's latest movie, True Lies? Um, I met Arnold the first time uh, in True Lies, and he was very nice. Um, he was very helpful when it comes to um, acting or anything. And um, I had a lot of fun working with him and uh, a lot of experience. The heavyweight winner was Steve McLeod, who flew across country from Maryland to compete in the Amateur Grand Prix. Ironically, he was the lightest of seven heavyweights, yet due to his minuscule joints and perfect shape, he appeared the heaviest. Another unique thing about Steve is his humble demeanor, quite rare in the sport of bodybuilding. To be quite honest with you, um, I don't consider myself the, the typical bodybuilder. 
Um, my mild-mannered mild ways is just the way I've always been. Uh, in the gym, uh, I'm quiet too, although I have an intense way about training, and uh, I feel I'm quite disciplined and, and um, plan to keep doing what I'm doing. Romeo chased Steve hard for the overall title and fought a good fight, but Steve's width and shape won out. Both bodybuilders are focused and will no doubt achieve competitive greatness. Steve McLeod went on several weeks later to take second place at the Junior Nationals, his first national-level event. For Muscle Magazine, I'm Andy Stevens.